I'm Lisa Butterworth, sometimes known as Kenzie, and I am a henna artist and the owner of a henna supply business, Kenzie.com. Today, I'll unleash your inner henna artist and have you drawing henna designs all over your friends and anyone else who will sit still. After you spent all this time and effort learning how to do henna and applying henna, you want the design to last. So I'm gonna tell you all the steps you need to take to make your henna design last as long as possible. So when it's time to remove the paste, scrape it off. You can use your fingernails or a dull knife or a credit card or something and scrape it all off. You can also rub it off or use olive oil to get off any of those last bits of henna that are still stuck to your skin. What you don't wanna do is wash it off. The henna is still in your skin even though you've scraped the paste off and it's still kind of oxidizing and getting darker. You'll notice that when you first remove the paste, the stain is actually a very bright orange. Over the next day or two, it's gonna darken to a very nice reddish brown. So make sure, don't get it wet, you'll stop that process. Anything that you do to exfoliate your skin will make your henna design fade faster. The design fades as your skin exfoliates. So what I recommend doing is before you take a shower, rub some oil into the area that's been henna, either cocoa butter or olive oil, any kind of oil that will repel the water. This will help your design last longer. If you're gonna do dishes or any kind of housework that involves getting your hands wet a lot, or uh, involves your hands being scrubbed, I would definitely wear gloves and avoid any kind of exfoliants, any kind of products that are gonna rub uh, the skin off of your hands. And also avoid any creams or lotions that will exfoliate your skin. So that's how you get a nice, dark, long-lasting stain from your henna. 